Okay, we're at the Bosco Church here. Said this is not the original facade on it. It uh, got destroyed by an earthquake fairly recently and they had to rebuild it. Rebuild it. Reminds me of uh, Bahol where they had the old churches uh, destroyed. It's a shame, but it happens. I think these were originally it was brought here by the dominican missionaries but i could be wrong on that this is uh ten commandments in a local language in the local language i should say as you can see here let you uh gather at that gaze at it a little bit mama mary over here i believe looking back the mission bell of Bosco is over here. Bell was a gift of King Charles III of Spain to the Avatum people. trying to give silence here so bear with me I'm gonna do a quick little view around don't want to go too far in be too loud so big church nice church actually old and nice Tell me our tour guy was telling me school across the street was built by Americans I believe in 1907 brought school and education here to Batanas and it's still an active school as of this time 115 years later so it's a little uh, history for you I'll try to go to the school after this though This was the first chapel in Batanas that the Spaniards built and held mass right here. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Very pretty, very nice. Palm trees behind it. Like a lot of the churches here in Batanas, just spectacular, very beautiful. The grounds are amazing, immaculate. <laughs> I'm here at St. Joseph, the Worker Church of Havana, Batanas. I guess you can call it the parish, as they say. Looking back toward where I came from. This is the uh, front of the church. We had Lux. Like I said, they have quite a few churches here, uh, which you'll see in the videos. But uh, go take a look and see what it looks like up here. Straight across from Subtang Island. It's where I caught the boat to uh, Subtang Island yesterday, Havana. In fact, the port is just right there by the lighthouse. So, uh, and this is the actual church. Let's see what it says over here. Nuaso Pojo, Pidi, Pidi, Nudias. 
Dios, Dios. Ten Commandments, I guess. That's what it is. Sambahan uh, Havana. There. That's the way the inside of the church looks. So I'm going to have a moment of quiet. Very quiet here. It is an active church, in case you're wondering. Except today is Friday morning before lunchtime. Very, very nice. I love all the old churches in the Philippines. Been here for a lot of them for hundreds of years. And except for some like in Bohol, even here that's gotten destroyed or, or uh, messed up by uh, earthquakes, damaged. Uh, they're very, very nice. I'm gonna look back the other way, show you where I came from. Looks like they got a place for music or singing. I don't know if it's a choir or what, back at the front entrance up above. Uh, Some more here, or the pulpit is over there for the priest. So used to saying church because I'm my background is Protestant, and a lot of the churches in the Philippines are uh, Catholic. So they call those, I guess, parishes or. Vice versa, if I'm wrong, don't hold me to it, but uh, I just know I grew up in Protestant churches, so. But like I said, the Philippines are very heavily dominated Catholic uh, country. The writing on the board there. Okay. Go outside to the church. Mosquitoes gonna bite me a little. This is the original length and the original altar of the church. So this is original. Yes. Okay, this is the original part of the church here. And uh, that's the way it looks. Uh, wow. There is a room there where the, the priest preaches during mass. So what year was the original building, 1795. do you know? 1795, the parish was originally built. So when did it get rebuilt? 1883. 1883, rebuilt, 1883. And it's, that's still the one in there now? Yes. Okay, it's good to know. This is St. Joseph the Worker, here outside of the church. So that's the name of the parish, St. Joseph the Worker. And again, one last viewing of the inside of the church coming in from the side. My, my camera had uh, stopped working momentarily. So I haven't checked yet where it stopped at. Kind of froze and restarted. I'll give one last view of the way it looks in here. 
on my way back out, like I said, the pulpit over there. And the pews holds quite a few people. One last look up front. I'll stop for a moment. Let's take a look at that. Turn back around. Like I said, they have a place where I guess a choir or where they can play music from up top. Signed with different religious organizations. They have a bulletin board. And then this is the confessionary room, so I'll be quiet again. And the front doors again, they are open. Nice view from St. Joseph the Worker Parish. Looking back over to Saptang Island. Looking over at the Vana Lighthouse and the port where you go over to uh, Subtang Island. And that's pretty much it. The rock formation, if you see my video coming in from Subtang Island, you'll notice the uh, rock formation. And that's about it. Okay, I'm at the Lady of Caramel Chapel and Bosco Batanis. This is a view from the chapel. And don't worry, I'm going to show you the chapel here in just a moment. Just wanted to give you this fantastic view. Some islands offshore. One of them I know, tallest one of the loose, Aineen. Like the number six, Aineen in uh, Tagalog. Three, the road looks coming up here, as you can see. This is a chapel here. Our Lady of Caramel, Carmel Chapel, here in Bosco. Let's take a look at that for a moment. There we go. This is uh, Our Lady of Carmel Chapel, Bosco Batanas. It's one of our stops. We're doing the North Baton uh, Allen tour today and this is really the first stop of it as you can see over there we've got uh, a few islands and uh, one is called Anim like uh, number six in Tagalog I don't know the others names but this is a very nice view got lucky on the weather it's really really nice weather right now very hot very muggy but up here high you get this nice cool breeze you can probably see uh, everything, some stuff blowing in the wind there. Shade of view from the other side here up at the church. This place is just breathtaking. I say, they say that, and we already are seeing it. That's absolutely. Uh, breathtaking here in Batanas. Love this. Very beautiful. See the way the church is made. See these stones. Uh, going to Saptang Al and Amar, where they're famous for their stone houses. So I'll be able to bring that to you. So. Hopefully, I can bring you enough here uh, that you'll really like it. Here's a trike here. That's the way it kind of looks inside. I'm not going to go in, but uh, kind of the way it looks here. So this is it from... Our Lady of Carmel Church here in Bosco. Okay, I'm outside of San Carlos or Simo Parish here in 
Batanas, Romeo, and it's one of the oldest lighthouses in the area. It's very small. It is a lighthouse. Nice statue there. And like I said, here's the church. Weather grounds, look outside the church. Simbahan Nagmahateo. Let's take a look at that. Zoom in on it a little bit, come in on it. And over here is the name of the church again San Carlos Borromeo Church Mahateo but First church of Mahateo was a small chapel of light materials built in 1787. So there you go. Sign was posted in June 2005, as you can see. If you want to read that, pause the video, go through it at your leisure. Come into the church, be a little quiet again, show some respect. The lighting is perfect here for video. As you see, we've come to a lot of churches here in Batanas, and we've only been to two of the three inhabited islands. We got little side doors over here, as you can see. All the pews, the standard church, the way it looks. I'm going to take a look going back here and one last view of the inside. Hope you enjoyed this. Very nice looking church. So one more thing to point out on um, this figure here. The earrings, the necklace, and the crown are made out of 14 karat gold. So I thought that was worth putting in. Kind of interesting little fact. And this church is open 24-7. If you ever get in the area, you want to attend or you just want to come in, say a prayer 24-7.